Hi guys, it's Andrea and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing DIY nails at home using the KISS Salon Complete Acrylic Kit. And I'm also going to be using this nail drill that I got from Walmart. So when you first open the kit, it does come in a nice case that you can reuse over and over again. All of the supplies are in the front and then the nail tips are in the back. So the first thing that you get is the acrylic powder and then you get the nail primer. And next you have the acrylic liquid. You have some nail glue and then you get this apple fresh scent that goes into the acrylic liquid. You get some nail forms. You get the dappin dish. You also get this pink buffing block. And then underneath the case, you get the instructions. You also get this nail file. You have your acrylic brush and then you get a manicure stick. And of course you get your natural and French tips. Now I'm starting off by pushing back my cuticles and honestly they didn't really need much. I just decided to do it because the manicure stick was in the kit. So I do want to take this time to say that I am not a professional whatsoever and this is actually my first time working with any type of acrylic. Now just in case you guys want to pick it up, I did want to show you the drill and all the bits that it came with. Now this drill is from Walmart and it was around $10. So now I'm going to put in the cuticle bit and then I'm going to drill the dead skin that was left on my nails from when I push back my cuticles. Now I'm using nail polish remover and a cotton ball to clear all of the dust from my nails. So now I'm looking through all of the nail tips just to see which ones fit my fingers the best. I'm going for the natural nail tips because I'm not really into the French tip look. So once I had all of my tips picked out, I decided to go ahead and rough up the first layer of my nails with this nail file. However, you guys will see that I felt that this was not rough enough for me and I felt that the glue would not adhere that well. So I decided to go in behind the nail file with the nail drill, also using the cuticle remover bit. After I finished roughing up my nails, I did clean off the dust. I just felt like it would be repetitive to show that part, so I did not. So I'm applying the glue to the nail tip and I'm just going to hold it onto my natural nail for a couple of seconds just to make sure that it's really on there. Now something I did not show you about the first nail was that I did use the nail drill to rough up the bottom of the nail tip. So that way with two rough surfaces, I was sure that the nails would stay on for as long as I wanted them to. Then I'm just going to go ahead and finish doing that for the rest of my nails. So this is what the nails look like, only glued on. And some people usually file down the line of demarcation in between the tip and the natural nail. However, I did not do that. I just went ahead and started clipping off the length because I was trying to go for a short square round look. So now I'm going to go ahead and clip down the length some more except this time I'm not doing the bulk of the nail I'm doing a more straight and neat cut so that way I have less work to do when I file it for the shape. Now I'm going in and filing my nails and it's not really much work since I'm going for a square round look it's just that I'm not that good at filing so it took me quite a bit of time to do this but they ended up coming out pretty good. So 
so this is what the nails ended up looking like after I filed them and now I'm just going to go in with the nail primer only on my natural nails So now I'm going to go ahead and start setting up my acrylic and the reason I'm showing you guys how I chose to set everything up is because this acrylic has been known to dry very quickly. So I wanted to show you how I efficiently set up my little acrylic center so that way it was easy for me to move in between the products and get it on my nails quick enough before the acrylic dried. So to start, I'm just going to start by dipping my brush into the acrylic liquid just to break it up because it did seem to have a hard point on it. And I'm going to dip it again and make sure that it's not too wet. And I'm going to pick up a bead from this clear acrylic powder and then I'm just going to go ahead and dab that on my nail. Now the instructions recommend multiple beads for one nail. However, I do not like my nails very thick. I like them very thin actually. So you can watch how I'm stroking the acrylic on there and making sure that it's spread evenly and not too thick. Now some of the acrylic did go off into my cuticle area, but I'm just going to use the brush to scrape it off. Also, the instructions state that you should dip your brush into the acrylic liquid in between products just to make sure that your brush will not harden from the acrylic building up inside. Now I am keeping this clip in real time just so you guys can see how long it really took me just to do one nail. So now that I'm finished with my first nail, I'm just going to go ahead and do the rest of my hand. So I must say that I have tried poly gel before. I'm sure you guys heard of it. And honestly, they say that it's supposed to be easy and very simple. And for me, acrylic seems much more simple than poly gel. I could never get my nails this neat using the poly gel. Now I'm going to be testing out a trick that I saw another YouTuber use and I'm just going to be tapping the back of my brush to my nails and if it clicks that means that the acrylic is completely cured. So this is what the acrylic nails look like after I finished laying the acrylic on there and so now I'm just going to take my file and clean up my shaping just in case the acrylic might have misshapen it. So I noticed that underneath my nails looked a little bit messy. So I'm going to take my drill and I'm going to take a pointed bit and then I'm going to use that underneath my nails to drill away all of the extra pieces that were left under there. And this is what the underside of the nails look like after I cleaned them up. So here are the nails. All that's left to do is paint, but first I'm going to go ahead and do my other hand. Now I'm done with both of my hands and I'm just going to go ahead and move on to painting. Now I'm going to use the Model 1's Ideal Gel Nail Polish Kit. And all I'm going to be using out of here is the nail lamp, the top and base coat, and I'm also going to be using this light pink color. Now I'm going to apply the gel base coat to my nails. And I'm just going to apply it to the entire length of the nail and then I'm going to cure it for 60 seconds. And the smart tip that I learned was that you should cap your nails which means that you put the nail polish at the very end of your nails. This keeps your nail polish from lifting. So here is what the base coat looks like. You can see on one hand that my nails are very shiny and on the other hand my nails are very matte. Next, I'm going to go ahead and go in with the color and you can see that this pink seems very opaque but it's actually not. It's very sheer and I chose this color because as you guys know I am in the military and we cannot have very colorful nails so I decided to go with this very sheer pink. And once I was done painting them, I just went ahead and cured them for 60 seconds. So here is what one coat of the nail polish looks like. You can see that it's still very sheer. So I'm just going to go ahead and go in with one more coat. So 
So these are my nails after two coats and I was pretty satisfied with this. So I just went ahead and went in with the top coat and after I finished applying that, I just cured it for 60 seconds. And just a reminder, do not forget to cap your nails, especially with gel nail polish, because if you don't, your gel nail polish will surely peel up off of your nails. So here are my nails after the top coat and the top coat is kind of sticky but we will be removing that sticky layer later on. So now I'm just going to go ahead and do my other hand. So these are both of my hands done with the polish and for some reason my other hand took three layers to make it look like the other one so I'm not sure how that went. But now we are taking the UV gel cleanser to clear off that sticky top coat. And once I'm done wiping off that sticky layer, I'm just going to take some cuticle oil and I'm going to apply that to my cuticles just to help it regain some moisture from all of that nail polish remover we use to wipe away the dust. So guys, this is the end of the video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. These are what my finished nails look like. They are not perfect, but I feel like I did a pretty good job. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.